The Celtics beat the Knicks last night in preseason action 123 to 110. The final score. This Celtics update is presented by 24autogroup.com. 11 locations across New England. Jason Tatum led the way with 28 points and eight rebounds. And Chris Stapps Porzingis scored 20 points and eight rebounds as well. After the game, Tatum shared how competitive the team has been in preseason so far. Yeah, practice has been hard. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we've been practicing couple tour days, uh, but it's been good. Uh, we've been working hard. Uh, second unit, been pushing the first unit. We've had a lot of competitive days. Time for a little gut reaction. That's what he said. Chris Forsberg joining us right now. Forsberg, you heard Jason Tatum after the game. He said practice has been hard as you know what? What's your reaction to that? You know, the, I know the practices have been long and and no one likes two a days. And once you get into the cadence of the regular season, things get a little bit easier, right? Like it, it, they, they won't go as often in, during the season. So maybe it's a good thing. You know, you get the get that shake that summer rust, get ready for the season, and off you go. Guys, I, mean, I think it's a good thing. I love hearing that Jason Tatum saying that practice is hard and they're going at it with the second unit. No, absolutely. Like th this is, you know, I hate, I hate two of the comparisons, but you used to hear this about some of the best Celtics teams of all time and, and some of those rivalries and how hard the practices were. I just I love it because this team seems focused to me in every way possible. And hearing that is just another sign that they seem focused on the one goal, which is to win a championship. They do really feel locked in on going back to the NBA Finals. It starts with Jason Tatum. It starts with Jalen Brown. You add Drew Holiday as well. Chris Stapps, Porzingis. I think they are all on the same page and everyone is ready to kind of go with that, that, uh, that idiom that everybody says, iron sharpens iron. I think that's what's happening at Celtics practice. All right, let's take a look at the four big board. Built for America, built for proud. Here's one potential starting lineup for the Celtics. Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Chris Stapps, Porzingis, and Al Horford. That would mean that Derek White is coming off the bench. The C's have six starting caliber players, but only five spots. Is that a problem? Chris Stapps, Porzingis, he says no. Whatever the situation is going to be, whoever's going to start, whoever, whatever, honestly, I don't think these guys care. All we care about is is, is winning and, and playing the right way and, and you know just we're going to trust Joe with those kind of things and Porzingis says all they care about is winning Forsberg what do you think of when you hear that yeah I love it right we talk so much about the best teams sacrifice right like 2008 they bring together KG and Pierce and Allen and someone's got to give up scoring someone's got to see that stat line dip and that's going to have to happen this year too and so from the moment Drew Holiday arrived, he's like, I'll do whatever they ask, including coming off the bench in certain situations in this preseason. And now you hear Porzingis reaffirm that as well. That's a really encouraging sign for these Celtics that the guys are already starting to buy in a little bit. Uh, you know, it's, it is also a little bit easier to say that in game four of the preseason than, you know, maybe game four of the, of the regular season when you're not out there. And yet I think they know the, the what's going on here. There's a ton of talent. Someone's going to have to come off the bench. But that person's probably going to be a favorite for six man of the year. So uh, the Celtics are, are a little bit of an embarrassment of riches with the, the top six that they've got. I, and I like the, uh, the starting lineup they went with last night as well. I mean, you had Al Horford coming off the bench. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if that's where you're going to see in the regular season. But when you start to think about guys, you know, in the load management and maybe missing some time and, you know, maybe not playing back to backs. I honestly think that it's only going to be like half the games where you're going to have the full complement of all six guys. I mean, if you're really thinking about what this team's going to be doing and that's playing in April, May and June, then you're just going to kind of pick your spots. And I, I just I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, I think that they all kind of are going into this with a selfless attitude, and that's going to prove to be great for this team moving forward. All right, Porzingis has been shining in the preseason action, averaging 16.6 boards and 61.5% from deep. Here's what he said about adjusting to his new teammates. It's just uh, it's just easy to play with those guys, honestly. They, I keep like repeating myself, but they draw so much attention that I get wide open threes, wide open looks, and and they fight me, and, and I just I just shoot those shots. Forsberg, we talk about that fit with Porzingis and this team. It sounds like it's going good. Yeah, like I mean, I, I still every time I, we turn on these games now, and they've got the Jays and Porzingis out there, I'm like, wait, this is like a real thing. <laughs> they've got so much talent, and I. The offensive potential for this team is just unlimited when you think about the way he can change them. And 
Every time he just shoots right over the top of a smaller player, pulls up from 25 feet, parks himself in the corner and takes a kick out like right there from Drew Holiday. There's just so many ways this team can attack you right now. And if Tatum embraces bully ball and going to the basket and Jalen Brown continues to evolve and Drew Holiday does what he does at the point guard position, there's going to be a lot of shots for Chris Stapps Porzingis. It really is easy for him. And I think that's why he's ultimately going to end up in the all-star conversation because he's going to be the one guy that gets a ton of open shots. And if he plays anywhere near the level he did last season, he might be back in that all-star game. A lot of offense for Chris Stapps Porzingis. We'll stick with NBC Sports Boston for complete coverage of the Celtics all throughout the preseason. It's presented by 24autogroup.com, 11 locations across New England. Time now for the Arbella here for good. We are exactly seven days away from the Celtics tipping off the regular season. The Seas will visit the Knicks in the season opener a week from tonight. The countdown continues to what is a highly anticipated season from this team with championship aspirations and a great shot at winning it all. We will have you covered all season long here on NBC Sports Boston Giles. I can't tell you how excited I am for this season. It's weird to say because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to jinx it. No, I understand. But I feel like they're going to go far. But honestly, this is a team to be excited about. If you're not excited, you literally have no pulse. So, well, it is what it is.